It's actually November 15th today. It's about 12.30 a.m. I finished my first block of the Nancy Zeman 2017 Mystery Block of the Month. And so I went ahead and cut out the February block. I'm not sure, again, how many blocks that I'm going to be making. But I am highly motivated to make a few blocks. So I have actually been sick for two weeks so I do have a few things that I videotape where I am actually wheezing in the videos I'll probably go ahead and upload those at some point but um, I want to go ahead and keep working since this is actually my first full day of being up I actually got up yesterday because I had a lecture that we're doing this month is called meet at home and it's so very simple that I thought that I would just go ahead and do it as well. The most complicated thing in this quote is that we're going to need four half square triangles and the rest of them are all square. So you're basically cutting three and a half inch squares and then making four half square triangles. So I will just put this over here and show you my fabrics. I chose this swirly print and a white. And then for this area here, I am using this green. And then for the dark area here, I have this dark green with some kind of beigey speckles in it. Very pretty fabric. And then for this floral red here, I'm actually using this green here with some very light highlights. And then for my center, I am using this green. So again, I talked about this in the January block where when you need to make half square triangles, I have my two fabrics placed right sides together and I'm actually using triangles on a roll paper to paper piece these units. I talked about this in my January block and I will give you a link up above to that video. And if you don't understand how to use them, then you can go and watch that video. Um, I will, I am going to go sew this and then I will lay my block out and show you that prior to me sewing. There are many ways to piece a block and so the main thing is just to think how would it be quicker or faster for you to make your block. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my chain piecing where I do. I flip this row over and then I keep adding out and then when I get to the end this whole unit is connected so I don't have to worry about anything turning and then I will go back and sew my rows this way. One other thing, now that I'm looking at this, whenever you have a floral print, if you don't want your block to be directional, you may want to like focus your fabrics so that they're kind of focused so that there isn't one top or bottom. Or if you do want it to be a top and bottom, then kind of turn your fabric so that they all look like they're sitting upright. So you have choices there as well. But I'm just going to make it so that my block can be turned anyway when I put it into the quilt so maybe I'll do something like that but I will go piece this and I will show you the completed block I'm back with my meet me at home block and as I said this one was pretty simple block to make and it went very quickly so I will add a photo of my first and second block at the end of this video Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.